Today's NLL season preview looks at the Rochester Nighthawks. The Nighthawks are coming off of their second straight NLL championship, and their roster for 2014 has remained mostly intact. Rochester loses Micah Kersey, who will move to the Kayhawks front office. They also release defensemen Jimmy Perv and Matt Hummel. Joining the roster, however, will be goaltender Mike Thompson to back in Matt Vince and defenseman Mac Allen. Allen last season was on the Colorado Mammoths, but he played for the Nighthawks in the past. Returning on offense are Dan Dawson, Cody Jamison, Johnny Pallas, and Corey Vitterali. Vitterali last season was third on the team in scoring with 44 points. Uh, well, the, the, the game has changed a little bit, and um, you know we were up late in the fourth quarter, and anytime time you take a few minutes off, which we did there, it's going to bite you in the butt, and that's exactly what happened. So going forward, you keep that in mind, and you do your best to sort of make sure it doesn't happen again. Returning is Craig Point, who had a fantastic preseason. He scored six goals in a preseason game against the Minnesota Swarm, and last season he had 20 points in 10 games. So in the first half, it was uh, it was pretty close. It was 5-4, I believe, at the end of the first half. And, uh, we, had, we had a lot of our last-year players playing and stuff like that, so it was kind of tight in the first half. But um, second half, we kind of put some of our rookie guys in and some of the new guys, and they... Uh, they got a taste and got their feet wet. Just uh, a case of the NLL there, but um, they did pretty good. And but uh, as the team goes, we just still, still got a few more cuts to make. So we got practice next week, and, uh, and we got to come. Hawks might have the most solid roster in the league with their depth. And goaltender Mad Vince is coming off of his second goaltender of the year award. The offense is one of the most dynamic in the NLL, but the team have had historically slow starts. Guys that played, we kind of expected them to play the way they did. Um, it was just guys. Uh, I, said, I think for tonight, it was guys getting their feet wet, you know, especially for the rookies and the young kids. You know, it's, uh, it's their opportunity to show us what they can do and they can play in this league. Um, and, you know, for the most part, uh, like I said, we got answers. For myself, like uh, the goalies, goalies play a big part. They, they stepped it up pretty, pretty good tonight. And, um, a lot of uh, we had a couple, couple new guys in the lineup. They, they did quite well as well. So. We just got a couple more games to see and see how they're showing. Like it was one game, everybody has a bad game, everybody has a good game. So we're just going to see how, how it uh, pans out on the next, next couple of exhibition games. Here. Rochester opened this Saturday against the Swarm in a rematch of last season's Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, it's been good. Um, and we, didn't have, uh, we don't have very many changes, so uh, guys are very familiar with, with the system. And, and uh, first and foremost, our expectations this year. So. Uh, guys are pushing themselves real hard, and we're pretty happy with where we are at this point. Uh, what can I keep on anyway? Stay tuned to In Lacrosse We Trust for more on the NLL in Lax, New York, for more on the Nighthawks, and tune into the Lacrosse Radio Network Friday nights at 8 p.m. for Hawk Flock Radio beginning this January.